Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to JJB10. So in today's video, it is JGBC's Cycle 4, Episode 2. This week's theme was Girl of the Year Week. Unfortunately, Quinn and Lori had to drop out of the competition, and Darby used her pass this week. Other than that, the contestants did a fabulous job this week, so let's go. This first photo comes from Courtney, and she is inside her house and she sees the girl of the year outside so she snaps a picture this photo is so cute and so creative i love the storyline overall this is an amazing photo but my one critique would be that maybe you could add something to it other than that great job courtney this next photo comes from clara and i love the layout my one critique would be that um on the girl of the year text you could add a white outline to it just to make it pop but other than that, this is a great photo, and it looks exactly like a magazine for American Girl. This next photo comes from Julie, and she is dancing to the Cavi music video. I love the outfit. I love the pose. Overall, great job this week. My one critique would be that maybe you could add something to the photo, but other than that, great job. This next photo comes from Issa, and... She has behind the scenes posted on her channel. I will definitely link that in the description. Oh my goodness. Um, so I know you said that you didn't know what the girl of the year was, but you did an amazing job. I love this photo so much. The text is so cool and the outfit looks so good. Amazing job this week. This next photo comes from Gabby, but she's using her doll Leah. Um, so thank you so much for your photo. I think this is a very good photo, but... I just think that please use Leah or Gabby for the rest of the competition because you can only use one doll. Also, I don't really know what she's doing in the photo other than taking a photo and maybe you could change the background. But other than that, amazing job. This photo comes from Leah. This photo is super cute. My one critique would be that maybe Leah could be more the focus of the photo. But overall, it's really cute, and maybe you could add something more to incorporate with the theme. But great job this week. This photo comes from Makena, and I think she's doing Luciana. I love this photo so much. I love the astronaut outfit. My one critique would be there's a glare on it, but I know you can't really control that. Amazing job this week. This next photo comes from Blair, and she's doing like a thumbnail for the reacting to the 2023 Girl of the Year. I know a lot of AGTubers do this. Um, this is so cute. I love the little mug. Maybe it's like standing for like, you know, like spilling the tea and all kind of a, a thing or something like that. I love all the pictures of Cavi. I have no critiques for you this week. This photo comes from Nenea Lani and she is trying on all of Joss's outfits. I love this photo so much and I love the idea. It's so creative. Overall, I have no critiques. Great job. This next photo comes from Emma, and oh my goodness, I love this photo so much. Blair's restaurant is an absolutely amazing American Girl set, and I love the pose that she's in. I have no critiques, and this photo is absolutely beautiful. Also, thank you so much for sending in behind the scenes. This photo comes from Paris, and she's doing like a Girl of the Year layout for the magazine. This photo is absolutely amazing. I love the colors. They all go so well together. And this photo looks amazing. It looks exactly like what American Girl would do. Also, I showed it to my mom, and she said that you should work for American Girl. Great job this week. Next up is Rose. I love this photo so much. I will say it does look a little bit cluttered at the bottom, but I love how she's holding the doll. Um, I think that she's um, holding, like, she's the girl of the year. I don't exactly know, but good job this week. This photo comes from Caroline Estelle, and I love this photo so much. She's online looking at the American Girl doll and looking at the magazine. This photo is super cute. My critiques would be that maybe you could put some shoes on her and um, maybe take the photo at a different angle or like in front of her. But overall, the photo is really good. This photo comes from Jocelyn and I love this so much. This is so cute. I love the surfboard and how she's holding the sign. My one critique is the photo is a little bit dark. So maybe you could add more lighting while taking the photo. 
but overall amazing job this week. This photo is from Monique and she did Luciana Vega. This photo is absolutely stunning. I love the outfit and the eyes are super bright. I also love the little posters in the background, like the I don't believe in humans one. I thought that was really funny. And overall, I think this photo is amazing and you put a lot of hard work into it. This photo is from Nanea and she made like an award show called the Girl of the Year Awards. This photo is super cute. I love the dress and her hair is super neat. Overall, I have no critiques this week. Also, the lighting is literally like on point. It's so cool. Um, great job this week. And the final photo of this week is from Tatilla. I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I said it wrong. Um, the blonde doll is supposed to be Kira and the other doll is Kurin. This photo is super cute and so creative. And I love how she is holding her phone. And she said that she's buying the new girl the year, Cavi, on her phone. Overall, this is super creative. I don't think I have any critiques this week. So I just noticed that that was not the last photo, and this actually is the last photo. This photo is really cute. My critique would be that maybe Tenny was more of the focus of the photo, and um, maybe uh, I don't really understand what's going on in the photo. So overall, you did a really good job this week. <laughs> Please do not be disappointed by your ranking. No one is eliminated this week because Lori and Quinn dropped out. Next week's theme is History Week. It can be any year, any date, any movement in time, whatever. Um, yeah, photos are due February 7th. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!